11.9 left, Marquette down a point to inbound. Ball in my hands the last couple seconds. Brings you back into the backyard where you're that kid and you have a couple seconds to win a game. Marcus Howard now has it outside right. They get nine seconds. Marcus Howard lost the dribble. Marcus Howard tries a very tough shot. Short, rebound taken by St. John's. Marquette just lost the game. Something like that. In the past, I would have been completely devastated. But, you know, I think where I'm at mentally, there are a lot bigger things in basketball. Marquette point guard Marcus Howard is one of the most effective and entertaining players in the country. Howard, deep oh, wow. three, good. You gotta say that was deep. That's that, even that with was, the L. That was deep. Oh, he's an incredibly gifted scorer. Sometimes when he gets that look in his eye, you just keep calling his number. When he starts to get it going, you feel like he's not gonna miss. Growing up, I always had a basketball with me wherever I went. I mean, I was always that kid who, at school, would always just carry a basketball around in class. I remember, like, my teachers would take away my ball because I'd be dribbling in class. <laughs> Highly recruited out of high school, Marcus arrived on campus when he was just 17 years old. Like many student athletes, he found the transition to college challenging, the schedule demanding. When you're done reading, talk among yourselves. You know, there are some points in the article, but then come up with other ones. I mean, just losing that much amount of money, just um, for playing a game that wasn't even the national championship, I think could jeopardize their future. As a student athlete, you know, a lot of things are on your plate. It's like working nine to five and then doing overtime. And we like to internalize a lot of things. There's a stigma that, you know, we're tough and that we should keep things to ourselves, not really show our emotion. But there are definitely things that I've been dealing through from a mental standpoint that I need to kind of get off my chest. And so to actually have a person to talk to and kind of spill those things, I think is really important. About a year ago, Marcus decided to try therapy. Now, as a 19-year-old junior, he sees his therapist once a week. What? was that first session like for you? Um, it was a little awkward. <laughs> I mean, you never really know what to expect. It was actually a really good conversation. I'm not really someone who likes to verbalize a lot when I'm to myself. So um, when I'm actually able to say what's on my mind and not really worry about what someone's gonna think about it, I think it's really good. It's really rare territory for a guy to get this much attention and publicity. And a lot of guys look at him and be like, you know, I don't know how I would deal with that, but because it is really hard. I think it's really important for athletes to have an outlet, even somebody outside of our staff, that can just give you kind of a, a clear-eyed look at what's going on. Marcus's candor may be a surprise to some, but he hopes revealing that he's made his mental health a priority will encourage others to do the same. To be able to open up and talk about your feelings is something that, you know, maybe wouldn't have been done as openly when I played. These college kids go through a lot, and they need to be able to open up and feel vulnerable and express their feelings, and that's gonna make them a better person, first and foremost, but it also help them on the court. I think it was just to raise awareness for others that may be going through the same things that he is. To not be afraid to ask for help or reach out because the worst thing you can do is try to deal with it alone. I say there are wins and there are lessons. There aren't losses. I learned from losing a game, but I wouldn't consider it a loss. I consider it, you know, a moral gain because I learned from that. 